Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I am on Minecraft 1.12, working on Pokemon Curve 1 Amethyst number 2. I just want to make it clear that this is not going to be the name of the second map. It's just a placeholder name until the people on the team finish their exams. I can start talking to them and discussing things like that, relevant matters. So what's happened in the last couple of hours is I've adapted to the changes in 1.12 regarding resource packs. What's relevant is this. I want to show you guys the resource pack real quick. Let me apply it and you'll see a big change to what you'll see in the screen. Okay, so this is the demo. This isn't what the menu screen is going to look like, but I'm holding a carrot on a stick on my offhand slot, and it is going to change depending on where I move. So if I move left, uh, it's going to change the quest, and if I want to select the battle, I simply step to the right. So this is a very simple uh, command concept, uh, dealing with the changes to the carrot on stick on my offhand slot. You can see the durability change. Now, What's awful, as you guys can see, is the bobbing animation when it comes to the change in your offhand slot. Now, big thank you to the live stream for actually helping me out here. I could not have done it without them. They walked me through the entire process, and now I actually know how to do all of this. Now, I don't know how to get rid of this bobbing animation. Apparently, this is a 1.12 change, so if there are a lot of videos on this 1.9, none of them would matter, because the bobbing animation has something to do with attack speed. Now I don't know for sure, but I've tried endlessly and I don't know how to get rid of it. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. There are a couple of very smart Alex in the chat that helped me out and suggested that I do something with the clock. And I think someone from Nox Crew also suggested that perhaps I could change the time attribute to something very tiny. So the swing animation does not have any effect. If I change the time to zero, you can see the swing. It's awful, but if I change it to uh, smaller values, um, it might not do that. Now, it's kind of hard to fix this, but it's one of the easiest solutions to this problem. And secondly, the compass, if I move the player's rotation, it will also change. Now, I don't want to do this because the rotation aspect is hard to control. So what I'm trying to do here is keep the, uh, the detect value. So when I move left and right, these values will change incrementally, and that's what's going to change the offhand slot item. Now, I don't want to mess around with this, but if I absolutely have to, and if the clock idea doesn't work, I may have to deal with this. Very brief update on what I've done so far with this whole concept. It's really going to give you guys a solid idea of what I want to try and do for PokeCA 2. It's going to be more of a small game rather than a large adventure map. So you can build on characters, you can build on Pokemon, you can have a quest that's going to be a single player version as well, and hopefully there will also be a battle version for AIs. Um, I don't know whether I will do multiplayer support for this, it's going to be kind of difficult. But this is sort of the idea that I want to mess around with. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I'd love to try and fix this very stupid very irritating bobbing animation because it's just ruining the illusion. Um, nevertheless, would love to hear what you guys think. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content, and uh, 1.12 shenanigans. Take care.